Hi everyone! In this video we are going to be doing something really interesting, at least it seems interesting to me. So we are going to be working with the ESP32 development board. Before I start I want to say thanks to Bill from Taste the Code. He gave me the board, so subscribe to his channel. He does a lot of interesting things like repairs and other things related to electronics and programming. So check it out. In this video, I'm not going to share a lot of theoretical details. So they are smart people who created and developed the board. So they know all the theory behind of it. We are here to learn how the board works and how we can program it and make something interesting out of it. So it is going to be a practical video with a practical example in it. I hope that you will like it. I'm pretty sure that you've heard about the ESP32. Now it can be even programmed with the Arduino IDE, which is great and fascinated how great it works. The ESP32 is developed by the Express Eve company. It can be also dual core. It is faster, it is better, it has more GPIOs compared to its predecessor, the ESP8266. I've used it many times before. But what I like the most about this board is that it offers Bluetooth and Wi-Fi built-in, so we don't have to use any other modules like we do when we are working with the Arduino board, so we can just program it. We're going to learn how we can establish communication between our ESP32 and our phone through Bluetooth, and also we are going to learn how we can talk to our ESP32. By talking, I mean really talking, uh, using voice commands to start something or to trigger something, to control something. I think that it is going to be interesting for you. So let's see what we're gonna need for this example. The ESP32 board, you can also use Arduino and its Bluetooth modules, but I haven't tested it with the modules because I don't have them at home. If you have them, just test it and tell me whether it works. I hope that it, it will work. Three LEDs, three 220 ohms resistors, some jumper wires, Arduino IDE with ESP32 support installed. If you don't know how to do it, just leave a comment down below. I will try to help you or make a video about it. And an Android smartphone. And we can start. Here are the schematics that we have to follow. Just pause the video and do it. Go to the repo that I'm gonna leave a link down in the description. So just clone or copy the code. Feel free to tweak it, especially if you are a beginner. Try to change it to be suitable for your needs. So it is gonna help you to learn more. I'm assuming that you've already prepared your Arduino IDE and you're able to upload the code to the ESP32 board. Once you have everything set up, upload the code to the board. And now we need to have an app to establish the communication. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description from my app that I created and published it on the market. It is called Talk to ESP32. Just download it and install it like you do with the other apps that you use. Go to your Bluetooth settings and pair your phone with the board and let's see how it works. Red Yellow Blue Turn on Turn off So thank you guys, that was everything that I've got, so I hope that it was interesting for you. The code and everything is gonna be down in the description, so we can check it out. If you've got some troubles understanding the code, leave a comment down below, I will try to help you. So bye bye, have a nice one.